M&M's, one of our favorite candies. Hard on the outside and soft in the middle. What if we could do the opposite for piston rings? Stay tuned to hear the rest of the story. For decades, the ductile molly ring has been the ring of choice for racers and hot rodders because of its soft face coating makes break-in really easy. Now the downside of that soft face coating is it wears out faster. So it doesn't have the life of say, a steel PVD coated ring that has three or four times harder coating, which yields three or four times longer life. But those steel rings can be harder to break in. But what if we made a coating that's the reverse of that M&M's? Soft on the outside, like Molly, but then hard on the inside, like the regular CRN PVD coating. That's what we got right here. We're gonna test it out right now. Soft outer coating, hard inner coating. Let's see what the dyno tells us. So we've got the engine running and we're breaking in the new, I'm gonna call them the opposite M&M coated total seal rings. So that's a soft on the outside, hard on the inside coating. So what we're gonna do is our normal break-in procedure, which is 30 minutes at about 2,800 to 3,000 RPMs, run about 80 to 90 pound feet of load on the engine to get it to break in. Then we're gonna make dyno pulls. We're gonna make 3,000 to 6,000 RPM sweep. Now, now, normally with a ductile molly ring, that softer ring that's easy to break in, second pull, the numbers are gonna be what you're gonna get. It doesn't take very long for that ductile molly ring to come in using this break-in procedure. Now, with that same hone, if we did that with the steel ring, it would take a little bit longer. Now, we can adjust the hone to make it come in faster for the steel ring, but this hone is smoother like you would for a ductile molly ring. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how long does it take for these rings to bed in. We know got the molly ring, two, maybe three hits, and then the numbers should stabilize. So we're going to see what happens. So we're going to let the engine run the 30 minutes, let everything come up to temperature, then we're going to make some pulls, and then we'll find out what we got. Okay, so we've done the 30 minute break in. Now it's time to make our power sweep. So let's see what we got. Wonderful thing about the Superflow Dyno, it is literally as simple as touching the screen. coating with a hard inner coating broke in just like a ductile molly ring super fast and easy but it still has the lasting durability of the steel pvd coated rings so that opposite m, &M effect we've seen it right here in the dyno and hopefully it'll be in a new product headed to you in the near future thanks for watching